okay Pisces this is going to be a part two since you just wanted to cut me off that was my alarm um maybe that was for someone an old man <laughs> you need to hear this but you need to really be thankful for being protected by the universe instead of crying and dwelling over what you lost because you didn't lose anything you actually were saved and you're gaining more all right definitely happiness okay so let's talk about who could be coming into Pisces future okay love life I definitely see a Libra Libra I also just see overall happiness could be a Leo yeah someone who's like really for you Give me a second. Yeah, and look at that Libra again. Someone who's for you. Now, here's the thing about some of you, okay? I want to be honest. This is going to be a problem for some of you guys. Someone has options. Here we go. Seven of Cups in the reverse. All right. Pisces, you can have options, okay? <laughs> this is funny as hell. Okay, let me get this message out. Okay. Because this is shallow and it's vain. And I'm really hoping that you guys aren't going about it this way. Yes, you are. Okay. Yeah, you are. Someone, you, you have options, Pisces, okay? The thing about it is you don't like them. It's like you have a... Because you're comparing them or... Yeah, you're definitely comparing them to someone of the past, okay? So... This past person, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they were very much so well endowed. Ace of Wands, sex life was great, yeah. But this new, but they didn't give you anything else. You feel me? Like you still felt single, you still became an option, you still were an option. Everything you didn't want to be, that's what you were. But here's this other person. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I also have um, Air, <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra is um, highly aspect here. You also have Leo. The thing about it is now this new person, they have everything you want to make you happy. Everything you can ever dream of that you think you want to be happy, they have. But the problem is... Uh, yeah, I almost fumbled. Like, it's like you're going to fumble the bag or you're going to drop the ball because this person does not do it for you sexually. Yeah. For my ladies, I just heard they do not get me. Yeah, down there. And for my masculine, they do not get you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They just don't do it for you. But what else do they have? Let me tell y'all something, okay? This is like that love after lockup when... <laughs> That show is so damn funny. But Love After Lockup, when, and this is an episode that's currently on everywhere, social media, it's like this obese woman, and she's with this handsome guy, or, you know, to, I guess, he's handsome, beauty to each their own, but he's not my type, but I'm just saying. Um, she catfished him, but she has everything that he wants in a partner. Money, emotions, everything, but just, like, sexually may not be that attractive to her so that's what i'm feeling i'm feeling like that past person the sex just the sex was everything but this new person it's just not for you this you can't get with this sex like you just cannot get with the sex like it just does not do it for you and i feel like that's what's making you not commit to this person but but they have everything else there is a but Hmm. it's very sad when stuff like that happens because i see it a lot all right so let's talk about um <laughs> pisces yeah five of swords in the reverse like you're not gonna say anything this could be an aquarius this person just doesn't do it for you sexually they don't they don't take you there damn All right, any more messages for Pisces as far as this current relationship or their love life? Yeah, four of pentacles. I just feel like <clears throat> you're holding back. Like, you want to say something. You kind of want to teach them something. But at the same time, it's like, this may not be the right time. Yeah, ten of cups in the reverse. Sexually, here's your energy, Pisces. They don't do it for you. Aquarius energy. This, this definitely can be an Aquarius. Yeah, the star card in the reverse. They do not make you scream. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's 
seven of wands okay seven of wands and i have the two of pentacles in reverse so here's the indecision like the lovers card that i was telling you about here we go you trying to figure out if you're gonna be a housewife or you still gonna be out here in these streets i feel like you know for a fact you'll be um you'll still cheat you know what i'm saying unfaithful in this relationship Some of you guys are going to offer to bring more people inside the bedroom to fulfill you guys sexually. Could be an Aries. Yeah, like this air, I don't know who it is because I've seen the Emperor card in the reverse. But it's like, you can give two shits on how this person feels. Three of Swords in the reverse again. You don't care. You cannot get with. This could be somebody that you were already with, like an Aries energy who's old, who just didn't have it sexually for you they just didn't do it for you so you kind of like left eight of cups that's your energy pisces you got out of here like you snuck away somebody was trying to keep you trapped too <laughs> oh my gosh you could be <laughs> you guys probably somebody would not let you go pisces i'm being honest they won't let you go but you stop communication with them eight of wands in a reverse definitely a fire sign energy it could be a sagittarius this person could have always only been self-fulfilling um, as well. Selfish. Nine of Cups in a reverse. Eight of Wands in a reverse. And you got up out of there. Eight of Cups in a reverse. Like, you won't just use me. Yeah, you refuse to be someone's option. Scorpio energy. Or a part of the cult. A part of the cult. Mm, I don't know. The sun. All right. So here's Leo energy again. You left. You left whatever situation this is and you're trying to focus on your happiness. I'm still laughing at that, Dan. Yeah, this could definitely be a Leo coming into your life. And honey, when I say this is what you've been looking for, do you see how she's holding it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Four of Wands in a reverse. Okay. You don't have to worry about not being satisfied by this person. I think you will be. Could be a Sagittarius energy with the temperance. Someone who does it for you. Because I feel like Pisces, yeah, someone who does it for you. Yeah. It's a fire sign that could be coming towards you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius is here and Leo is here heavy. Since you left that last person for some of you, yeah, because I don't know what this is about. Since you've ended it with this last person, could be a Scorpio. This person has been going crazy. When I say just been acting out, I mean buck wild. Like three songs, they're doing everything. Drugs, sex, alcohol, rock and roll. They are sick. This can be, um, again, don't forget, Libra. I don't know why I just want to say Libra. Six of Wands in a reverse. Somebody's having a hard time getting it up, though. I tell you that. They're going to Aries. Nine of Wands. You can have this person blocked. Or someone could be trying to block you sexually. Yeah, it came out again. Nine of Wands. You could have found out this person isn't even into you in that way. Someone could be into something completely different, definitely dark. Yeah, something about this earth sign. This person could be into the same sex. Capricorn towards Virgo, but you wasn't feeling them from the jump. And I also get they short. Like, oh, I don't know why I just heard that. But somebody is short. Like, little man syndrome or complex. Like, you are not into this person at all. You know, you're not even almost playing with them. And then the little man syndrome again, someone's, someone's penis isn't up to par to handle you. Could be a cancer. Cancer energy again, two of cups in a reverse. That's what's going to have you leave this person, although they have everything else you need. And you don't care. Seven of swords, you don't give a damn. You're going to do what you want. Okay. I think it's funny. I mean, it's not supposed to be funny, but take the messages how it apply. It could be you. If not, let it fly, okay? All right, so I'm going to clarify, and let's just see what message signs you could be dealing with.
Pisces. Pisces, what signs could Pisces be dealing with? All right, definitely a Pisces, Neptune. Okay, first of all, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius for real. You definitely could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I have Capricorn, also have Scorpio. I have Aries, Scorpio again. There's that Leo. Oh, Uranus, Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with a Taurus. One more. Mars, yeah. Any type of Aries, okay? Um, Leo or Sagittarius. Gemini energy too, the number three. Could be dealing with another Pisces. Somebody Mars can be in Gemini. Is that it? Oh, my deck is closed. Okay, so I have Scorpio, like I said earlier. Leo again. And just water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini again, all right? I didn't get any obsessed cards, like, which is great, codependency. And I'm just giving you all messages from the Romance Oracle card, chemistry in the reverse. Yeah, Valicia X, oh my gosh. What is going on? So you have codependency, you have chemistry in the reverse, you have Valicia X separation in the reverse like somebody won't let you go with that eight of cups energy they like shot like they were gonna shoot your ass some kind of like what did i just say um obsession energy new love in the reverse someone is not willing to let you go soulmate in the reverse there be down give your relationship a chance in the reverse and my deck is in an upright wow Okay, so Pisces, that is what I have for you this week. <laughs> that is funny as ever. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Anything else? Alright, um, date. If someone is watching, then yeah. So if you did leave, if you did leave from the situation, because I have runner energy as well, you're being stalked. They're trying to see who you're going to. See, this is like the runner in a codependent relationship because you're not happy. So if you are trying to get away and get to someone new and date someone new and release your ex, your ex is not okay with that. Because they haven't healed. But it's a selfishness about them. Because since they haven't healed, yeah, stabbed in the back. Be careful. This person is kind of like crazy. They're not going to talk about what they are going to do. But I get fatal attraction energy. Yeah. Just be careful. Okay. All right, Pisces. 